Once the Foo Table Light plugin is installed, you'll see the settings page, and you can see there's a few tabs, General, Look and Feel, Advanced, and Demo. Uh, in the General tab, you'll see some basic help information, some information on the data attributes that we use, and then also the functionality section. So by default, the class that's used is Foo Table, and you would want to write that in your HTML markup to apply uh, the Foo Table settings to your tables. You can, of course, change that and you can target specific uh, HTML tables in your site using the CSS selector. You can also enable sorting, uh, column sorting in your Foo Tables. And then you can set your breakpoints. So breakpoints are, uh, as, as you may have read in the documentation, they're what we use to uh, set the breakpoints for mobile devices. So by default, we've got tablet and phone breakpoints of six, 768 and 320. And you can also choose the columns to show for a tablet and for your phone. So if you go over here to the look and feel, you've got a couple of options here. You can disable all built-in food table styling, or you can add your own custom CSS. If you disable the styling, it'll pick up the styles from your themes for tables. And then, of course, if you want to totally change it, you can enter your own custom CSS there. Under the Advanced tab, uh, this is for developers mostly, you can enter some custom JavaScript before and after Foo Tables is initialized. You can also enter the debug mode so you can uh, check out things if you're doing some heavy customizations. And you can uh, choose to load the Foo Table scripts in the footer uh, if you uh, see that your site is loading a little slower, which it shouldn't. Uh, Foo Table is a very light plugin, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we give you that option anyway. And then over here in the demo tab, as you make changes, you can see the changes in, uh, in line with the plugin settings. So you can uh, make all your changes here, and you don't have to keep refreshing a page. You can just click over to the demo. So there you go, Foo Table light plugin settings.